faceless caseworker take one it's the faceless caseworker we're back at it hope we got the uh, hope you like the new background we got the back black background in the back you know we're doing different things but today we're talking about the law of white gangbangers people like white gangbangers they like uh, white boys and stuff and white guys who've been in prison tattooed fight stabbing shooting killing People love them. They love them. They're getting a lot of attention. You know, there's even a white on white gangbanger crimes going on. White boys in different sets banging on each other. This is what the streets call it. What the faceless caseworker calls it. A very sad, very sad situation in society. Let's get to it. Predominantly in the ghetto, black and Hispanic males, uh, frequent prison system, the recidivism, the, the cycle from in and out, back and forth through prison, experience the hardships of life, solitary confinement for years, assaults, harsh conditions, terrible food. But most of these things are happening to minorities. Puerto Ricans, blacks, Mexicans, you go to the third world countries, South Americans, Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Dominican jails, you name it, people are having a hard time. Now I'm not saying that white guys don't go to prison, but let's be for real. Ninety percent is black and Hispanic. Alright? Gangs. We all know gangs existed. Now, if you want to take the word gangs, you could always say, yeah, uh, gangs existed, you know, in the 20s. But no, no, we're not talking about the Italian, Irish gang. We're talking about street gangs. Straight from Compton, Watts, the birthplace of Crips. Now, I'm going to go into history. You can find it on any channel on YouTube. But the psychology of it is, is this is predominantly a group who came after the Black Panthers and decided to be more of a rebellious group or an organized rebellious group and those things branched into what they know as the street gangs the day was spread all over America now there was really now there's other branches of, nation, of cultures that have taken on gangs as far as the Mexicans have taken on the traditional black structure of the gangs and added their own elements and different things but they won't give any praise. No, shouldn't be giving praise for you know for things. But those things, the foundation of those things, came from those Los Angeles gangs were predominantly African American. So now we have 2021 and so forth. We have Caucasian males who have taken upon the certain big gangs of the United States, Bloods, Crips, um, and they have, you know, experienced the hardships of those before them, African Americans and Hispanics. But where you come and take where they were going to prison, I'm not saying that a white boy can't live in the ghetto, but how did the transformation of the street gangs of African Americans and Hispanics end up affecting white males? If anybody's listening to this video, you can comment down. You can comment down below. Uh, please do add some comments. Uh, when did it start affecting uh, white America? I wish we had a date. Of when gang gang uh, started affecting white kids. Uh, you know, and please don't say Eminem. All right, I'm talking about real life when they started indoctrinating white kids, white boys, young teenagers, or kids, into the major gangs in the United States. Anybody know? This is just something, you know, it's a good question to ask. Because we have, you know, an indoctrinated group of individuals who have taken upon all of these gangs, and the gangs have accepted them, I believe so, I'm not sure. But it looks upon it that they've been taken in by the gangs and they're going through something but my mistake is 
who should be sad about this whole situation? Should it be America? Since traditionally the liberals say, you know, the Democrats will say that a man like him should be way living a much better life. That's basically he should have graduated from college, he should be working somewhere in corporate America and not be tangled up in a gang. Uh, experiencing prison and, and, and committing violence. So how did a uh, young Caucasian male end up he basically hit an odd that was almost impossible for him to even experience. A white Caucasian male and end up being a gangbanger. They used to make movies I'm not the one who's talking about this but to say that this is a joke but they used to make movies as a joke about the same subject that I'm speaking on. You can go look it up, Google it. We don't even have to go there. You can find any so uh, movie or TV show, White Boy in the Hood. The guy had corn rolls and things. They used to make jokes about this stuff, all right? Now you have the real life stuff here. The real life stuff of guys who are coming from the suburbs. Or maybe they're coming from trailer. I don't know where they're coming from, but somehow they're indoctrinating themselves into traditionally african-american gangs so and this can't really can't be making too many